हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम बैक ऑन द शिखावट इंटरनेशनल एकेडमी सीकर ऑनलाइन बेस एंड यस्टरडे वी वर डिस्कसिंग अबाउट द चैप्टर फ्रॉम द बुक ऑफ डिलाइट क्लास एट एंड द चैप्टर नेम वॉज द रिपोर्ट कार्ड ऑफ महात्मा हेयर वी हैड डिस्कस अलॉट अबाउट द महात्मा गांधी इनिशियल डेज हिज चाइल्डहुड टाइम्स एंड नाउ वी हैव uh the rest of the part which i told you that i would come on the second part so here in the second part uh you are going to learn his uh, rest of uh mistakes what he had learned from his mistakes and he had repent he had uh, regret what were the regrets which he uh, couldn't do in his futures the mistakes which he had done and now he wanted to improve them but uh, some uh, few words there which he couldn't improve them so here uh, till yesterday we had discussed uh, we were discussing about the chapter the report card of the mahatma gandhi we had discussed about the characteristics of the mahatma gandhi in his childhood that about his report card about his education how he was he was an average student or was he below the average uh, we have come come across by many things and then about his interest in geometry subjects as compared to the sanskrit subject and then after he was uh, not not happy with the um, sports activity uh, like we are gymnastics is there cricket is there he was he told us he is expressing his view that why he was not interested just because of the shyness of his uh, that he couldn't lead in in this profile after when he got mature he understood the value of the sports it's very very important for the it is very very important for the uh, mental training it's that it trains the mind the especially sports so we had discussed a lot and now we are going to ne- start the next where we have left we had done here till that the physical training and now from another regret we are going to start so dear students another regret that gandhi felt in later years was about the neglect of handwriting here the student uh what does gandhi want to say to us he wanted to say that he had a great regret regret means as i have told you my dear students regret if if we uh, do something wrong and then after we realize that really we had done really wrong things we shouldn't have done these things that time when we feel sorry to ourselves sorry to others that is known as uh, in one word regret Uh, or we can say paschata okay dear students now here so here what he wants to say about his handwriting his handwriting was so poor it, you can say uh, that he was not uh, happy whatever he writes he was not happy from bottom of his heart that his handwriting is so poor so uh, nasty another regret that gandhi felt in later years was about the neglect of handwriting even until his days in england he had paid little attention to his handwriting but later when he was in south africa and saw the beautiful handwriting of lawyers and young men born and educated there he repented of his neglect repent means uh, he was so regret on his handwriting especially when he come across when he realized that especially when he was in england that time it's okay but once he reached in south africa for the study of barrister as he was there for the fighting a case uh, of racism uh, there were many things there is a big role of uh, gandhi in south africa especially uh, the both were known as worldwide first um, mahatma gandhi and second was nelson mandela they both are the uh, ministers those who had done very great job for the country people so he was saying that in when he saw the lawyer handwriting and he compared himself with the lawyer his handwriting was so poor and that time he was so he was feeling so repent regret and he quoted him i saw that bad handwriting should be regarded as a sign of an imperfect education and now he is saying that those people who are whose handwriting is not good they are known as or they are considered as uh, imperfect education it shows that this person has not 
परफेक्ट एजुकेशन दो स्टूडेंट्स और दो पीपल वो हैव बैड हैंड राइटिंग नाउ आफ्टर दैट वॉट ही सेंग आई ट्राई लेटर टू इम्प्रूव माइंड बट इट वॉज टू लेट आई कुड नेवर रिपेयर द नेग्लेक्ट ऑफ माई यूथ लेट एवरी यंग मैन एंड वुमेन बी वॉर्म्ड बाई माई एग्जाम्पल एंड अंडरस्टैंड दैट गुड हैंड राइटिंग इज नेसेसरी पार्ट ऑफ एजुकेशन एंड नाउ ही इज सेंग दैट uh he was trying to improve his handwriting but he couldn't because he was so busy he was so uh exhausted in his own business in his own work social gathering he was always covered with people so there was a huge work every day the new task was there so he couldn't pay uh he couldn't repair his handwriting he couldn't work on his handwriting and that's why he is saying that uh, let's that's why he is suggesting us let's every man and woman suggest that hand writing should be proper and you can take the example of himself gandhi ji that gandhi ji was always having regret that he couldn't to improve his hand writing in the time of youth and and he is also saying that the education in education hand writing play a great role and next paragraph what dear students the gandhi ji is saying despite his rather ordinary performance in examination gandhi ji middle school teacher marked his conduct as very good so there was an exam held when he was in his upper classes and the examiner had given him a very good sign of as a mark and what was what he had done in his exam the record also provide glimpses of some of writing that gandhi did in his english papers so glimpses means light it put light on one of his exam paper of english and what was he had done what he had done in his english paper and what was the questions were there just let's talk about it perhaps an essay that he wrote in about 40 lines on the advantage of cheerful disposition encouraged him to become that rare politician who were never known to have lost his temper so here in there was an essay uh which he wrote almost 40 lines in 40 lines what was the topic the topic was that uh, the cheerful disposition disposition a uh, cheerful disposition disposition means a character so he had he had to write if a, a, a about a person about a and character about a character whose nature is so nice so he had written something on an polit on a politician about his life about his nature about his work and especially in any situation his temperament always remain cool and calm so that's the essay he had written and he got uh, for 45 marks he had been asked 10 paraphrase a poem which describe how jesus would reveal himself only to the poor patient not to the rich man whose chariots went ringling past so here there is a chapter uh, there is a full poem uh, and you could find in your google as well as uh, there is a a poem here he got a poem which he had to paraphrase which he had to rewrite he had to explain everything about the jesus that in this uh, poem what was the question the jesus was not helping rich people only helping poor people and why he is helping poor people because uh there is also a reason what the reason is this the next line he had explain us might not the exercise have struck an early awareness of exploitation and injustice why why he had written so beautiful in the answer because he knew that the poor people were always extorted they were always assaulted they were always harassed by the rich people so that's why the god jesus always help poor people who are in trouble who are in some problem so he had written and that's why his his focus his aim his concentration on the uh, those people who are suffering from exploitation he raised his voice uh, to give them favor uh, to fight against the cruelty he was a such type of person from his childhood now in the next paragraph students what the last paragraph is saying such are the records relating to a students who later extend an influence on countless in here now this was the record whenever those any person in the early at the time of uh, when the when the country was not independent from that period of time he become an influencer influencer means those people he was among those people who attract a big crowd a big mass of people by his work by his deed 
that he had a such type of magic to attract people by his own character that he was a so sophisticated person gandhi ji was uh, a social person helping person always help uh, like in my dear students uh, in 12th class there is a chapter and indigo uh, the chapter name is indigo and you would come to know once you get once you read the chapter you would uh, come to uh, have awareness about his work that in there is a village which name is panchari and pancharan and what type of work he had done in bihar uh, for the special those patients who are suffering from the taxes and they had to pay a big tax of their crops to the east india company and he fought against it he he found that this rule and regulations are exhausted the throat of people uh, it choked the breathe it choked the means means that this is the exploitation of their rights so he was the person to fight against so that's why many people were influenced in india and turned ordinary teachers lawyers clerks and the like into nationalist with heroism and a spirit of self sacrifice and now by his influence many people become in the profession of clerk and teachers lawyers and they become they wanted to do do some work for their national for their nation for and they wanted to become a nationalist and heroism there was a spirit of heroism in every people soul and they were ready to self sacrifice they were ready for the they were ready to sacrifice their life for the betterment of the nation for the country for india and in the next line which is so beautiful of this chapter his first sorry uh it has been said that gandhi ji could fashion heroes out of common clay now here the meaning of this my dear students that the gandhi ji had a such type of power a magic that he can make any person hero who is basically from clay means that if a person is not too much talented if a person is not not too much skills but if he has curiosity if he has enthusiasm to do something he can make this person a hero like you have seen like uh, mitti like our country our country's soil immerses gold ye mitti sona ugalti hai that is the meaning of this mean that this country the land of india has a great power a great um experience that he had given us great sacrifice great revolutionary people in our life so that is the meaning of this line his first and undoubtedly his most successful experiment was was with himself so these were the experiment which he had done by himself on his own self now this is the chapter my dear students let's have some discussion of the question as well who changed many schools before the age of 10 who changed mahatma gandhi changed and and he changed the schools uh, and from fourth standard he had continuously studying in the rajkot in higher school what was the percentage of gandhi ji marks when he had repeat the same class due to his poor attendance in class so what was the percentage his percentage was my dear students let's find out the percentage they were in the first page uh, gandhi ji that here from this the attendance become black a mere 100 days out of 238 in standard third for example his marks in the annual exam examination normally average between 45% to 55% he was even made a repeat a year due to poor attendance because of he had to attend his sick so here you have to just give the answer from here his marks in the normally examination normally average between 45% and 55%. So here you have to write this answer. That's why he repeat. Now moving to the third question. Which was the which was the new subject for Gandhi? Gandhi ji. The new subjects were for Gandhi ji was uh geometry and sanskrit. You can say he, how he compare i have as i have already explained you so you have to write the answer by your own self about his interest in geometry and 
बट ही टेक्स द अदर सब्जेक्ट एज ए एज ए फील्ड ऑफ इंटरेस्ट गांधी जी हैज चेंज मैनी सिटी स्कूल और फ्रेंड्स जस्ट टेल मी माई डियर फ्रेंड्स येस डेफिनेटली स्कूल गांधी जी मार्क्स इन द एनिमल एग्जामिनेशन नॉर्मली एवरेज बिटवीन यू हैव टू गिव द आंसर एज रिसेंटली आई टोल्ड यू न्यू सब्जेक्ट्स फॉर गांधी जी हिस्ट्री साइंस और जियोमेट्री सो यू हैव टू राइट द बाई योर आंसर राइट द मीनिंग ऑफ द फॉलोइंग वर्ड्स एंड यूज दैम इन योर ओन सेंटेंस एक्सपेरिमेंट यू हैव टू राइट दिस वर्ड लाइक लेट मी टेल यू लेट मी कंप्लीट वन सेंटेंस एंड द रेस्ट ऑफ द बी सी डी यू हैव टू डू बाई योर ओन सेल्फ सो एक्सपेरिमेंट यू हैव टू राइट अ प्रोपर सेंटेंस बाय एडिंग दिस वर्ड इन द इन द सेंटेंस एक्सपेरिमेंट सो वट आई वुड सी एक्सपेरिमेंट I have done an experiment on my own self as I was specially offline teacher but now due to some circumstances I have been converted into online teacher so that is my experiment now let's see what would be the result of it now the rest of the part you have to write by your own self now the uh, long questions which you have to write by your own self my dear students why did gandhi ji have to change many school before the age of 10 as uh, in the initial stage he had to change many schools because of the uh, the poor conditions of his family background and uh, after that he become stable he become stable uh, when he entered in the higher school from uh, where he had spent almost 7 years why did gandhi have to repeat the same class just due to his father was sick and he got newly married so he had to maintain his personal life as well as so that's why he got less marks and that was the reason that he had to repeat the same class in third class and where he got 64% what difficulty gandhi ji had to face when he came to fourth standard what was the difficulty especially subjects especially which subject english english was very very hard subject for him and he he considered that he is at c you know that this answer and you have to write by your own self according to gandhi ji which is the necessary part of education when did gandhi ji had that he should improve his handwriting the very important and necessary part is handwriting without handwriting a person consider imperfect or immature so if you are educated whether you are educated but your handwriting is not good so you would consider as imperfect so gandhi ji had said that uh, he should improve his handwriting so these were the question answer uh, my dear students and we have almost finished the chapter and now i request you to write the question answer uh, in your own notebook and according to the time table according to the Mm, time management. I would suggest you about your notebook, your question answer. So here, this is all about. I hope you like the chapter and you have learned personal for your own self about the some good point of Gandhi ji in your life, especially handwriting and uh, sports as well as they are both very important. Now, thank you so much, my dear students, and hope we will meet next time. Thank you.